Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to finish this job tonight. I've, I've got these belts off, they're completely out of the way. All I need to do is put the, put the new belt on. Um, it will take less than a minute to put the belt on. It, it does take a rather long time to put the others that I've removed back on. Unfortunately, I've got exactly the same problem as what I had about a month ago. The belt supplied doesn't fit. This is the remnants of it's the only bit that survived. The rest of it just flew off on the carriageway. Um, but it's massively, there's a huge difference in, um, in diameter. Let's see if I can hold it better so you can actually see this. Um, let's have a look. I don't know how's the best to hold it. Just struggling away here, but whoop. let's have a look. You know, look at the difference. Um, there's about a five millimeter difference. Um, ridiculous. It's exactly the same problem I had before. Um, three times, I, if you remember my old videos, um, three times I went back and forth. But never mind. We got there in the end, and I shall do so again. So. Uh, I'll be returning these two belts first thing in the morning. The thing is, I have to go on my bike because I'm not, I'm not able to drive on the car. So I'll go back to this ridiculous place and I will try and get a belt of this length with that diameter. So I'll have to go back about eight in the morning. I'll leave these. Then I'll probably have to go back on my bike again about 11. I'll, uh, hopefully I'll have the, the belt. But it's looking increasingly unlikely that I'll get this job finished for the weekend. I suspect I won't be able to drive this car again. Um, I've just spoken to my wife and she said, look, it's, it's, it's mad of you to even think of risking driving it with those belts when you know that alignment's out. She said, look, just hire a car, hire a car, leave this one here. Um, and she's right. It is mad of me to be thinking I can, I can drive when I know that the alignment's out. I just don't have the alignment tools. But if I leave this here for a few days, I can perhaps get the alignment tools, you know, dismantle all of this. In fact, I could probably even dismantle all of this before the weekend. I need to move. At the very, very least, I need to remove all of the air conditioning, but I do suspect I'll have to move the fan cowling, you know, all of this. I just can't see me being able to get in down there. I might even have to take the bloody radiator out of I, I don't know. Um, I need to do a bit of research and um, my, the hours I work are so insane. You know, I'm always, always working from about 5 a.m. And, uh, you know, I do work in a salon all day, but I, you know, we do, um, we do a lot of mail order. Um, it's largely hairdressing supplies that are sort of mail order wholesale. And that keeps me on the go from about five in the morning. And then after, after I finish here fiddling with this car, you know, I'll probably spend a good four or five hours on that tonight till about 11 or 12. So as you can see, these fiddling with this car, it's really being squeezed into these um, insane working hours as well. Plus that I do the massive, massive traveling between Brighton and Nottingham every week. Um, you can see I just do not have the time for buggering about, but I've been mad enough to take this car on and I have to find the time. So um, I will. I'm not, you know, these things don't actually bother me that much. This is, this is the reality of running a really old car, especially one that's original and unrestored like this. Um, if you buy a restored car, has it been restored properly? Probably not. You know, if I do this one myself and do it methodically and fanatically with attention to detail over a period of time, it will be right. And eventually I'm going to get the car that I really, really want. And you could spend an awful lot of money that's got a so-called restoration and every other job's a barge or it's been done incorrectly. And you end up paying a lot of money to then spend a lot of time and money and go through it like I am here. So um, I'm slightly niggled of the incompetence of somebody supplying the wrong parts, but it's part of the, it's just part of the cause. Um, this sort of thing, there's definitely an alignment issue. I can accept that. It's 37 years old. It's an old, old car, completely original. It's possible and more probable that where the alternator's fixed, it's slightly, it's just slightly bent. The thick of the mountains, or it's gone back too far, or it's got a washer missing or something. I, I just don't know. Until I dismantle it and get right in there and find out exactly what's wrong with it and measure it with a laser alignment, I really won't know. So I've decided to call it a night. I'm not going to do any more on this tonight. And um, I do think I'll be going back home in a higher car at the weekend and rather than rush it and then drive it with a belt that I know is going to get ripped to shreds and hope it doesn't fail. It's ridiculous. So I think we'll be leaving this here just for another 10 days or so and really, really you know, get stuck in and get the job done properly and then forget about it. Once it's done properly, we're fine. My wife's right, you know, hire a car, don't drive it when you know it's wrong.